So today I am going to go through my brooches and show you some of the fabulous pieces I have collected through the years. I love a good brooch and let me tell you, I don't have a huge collection, but if I could, I probably would collect a billion of them. But I've I've kept it very limited because my focus when it came to jewelry has been different and I also noticed I have plenty to wear and um yeah without overdoing it so let me show you some of the pieces I have gotten over the years and I'll start with the first one I got this from hubs for it was a Christmas gift and it was when I um first started with um Saint Laurent YSL and I just loved it I loved it because it was from him first off but also because I love the story of Saint Laurent and if you don't know you should definitely look it up I'm an advocate for telling people look it up if you don't know look it up and you will learn so much about this being in this person and his creativity but here it is on and it just has YSL in the middle. And this is an antique gold, just a simple black in the center. And it's just on its own, it's very simplistic. It doesn't say a lot, doesn't scream at you. Um, my goal ultimately became to put these on a blazer or a jean jacket, a denim jacket. I think it would look so fabulous if I put them all on together and that's why I did not buy any more. I wanted to make sure I could do that. So the second one is this one and once again, it's Saint Laurent YSL and it's a heart with a gold thunderbolt it looks like a bolt of lightning and it's hard to see but it is red in the center and let me get that one on so you can see it on as well it's another just another flattering piece um and it works very well with my aesthetic see I'm gonna move this one over just a tad. There we go. See how fabulous it looks. I think a brooch is an sometimes understated piece. Uh, that people forget about but you know if you want to class it up a little bit and um, with a blazer or with a dress or with a with a scarf uh, a brooch is always a nice addition to uh, one's aesthetic and then I got this one and if you recall you've looked at watch my other videos you'll know that I got this from the um, Chanel advent calendar uh, when it came out and I wish that it would the price of the advent calendar even though i still loved it i wish that they included a double c uh a brooch but they did not and so i was still appreciative that i got this one so this is the chanel number no. five perfume bottle with chanel in the center i didn't even show it to you really so let me take it off and show it to you really quickly so here is the chanel number no. five perfume bottle pin still small very discreet quaint um but i still adore it and then the, so these came later. I'm going to show you one of the first brooches I ended up getting and um, you've heard this story several times if you've watched my other videos. But I got this brooch when I was defending my dissertation and actually Hubs got it for me. So the story behind it is this and I'm going to show it to you. So here's it's a Chanel 
brooch and it has Coco Chanel in the center and the, the pearls actually move um, on the brooch. And the story is this, Hubs and I were going to France and he of course knew that I was about to defend my dissertation and it was my birthday. And so we were leaving France and he discovered that there was a Chanel at the airport, of course, at the Paris airport, Chardigo. There are all kinds of designer shops in the international side of the airport. So he set it up way in advance before we even left the US to for us to go and pick up some pieces from Chanel. And when I, when we were going there, we're at the airport and we're checking in and they were like, no, it's on the other side. Hubs was like, I know, that's why we're early. So he made sure we were there super early, like uber early to, tr to drop our stuff, travel over to where the Chanel was and um, be able to take our time and look. And when we got there, they surprised me with this and I was I was just flabbergasted I love this piece and I once again I wore it like I said I was head to toe in Chanel when I defended my dissertation I was just channel channeling the power of the almighty Chanel and sure enough I made it through my dissertation you know and got my doctorate but it's just such a sweet story that he would do that for me so you see all the pieces and then if you've watched my birthday reveal this year when I'm you know 43 43rd birthday you'll know I got this one and it's gold with I, I think some type of crystal or rhinestone in it and it's so beautiful because it's perforated so you can see through it but it is still such this is a very elegant and beautiful piece and I know I will be wearing this everywhere um, when I get to France this year I will be wearing it because it's just such a, a statement piece without saying too much right so can you imagine this on a jean jacket? It would look so cute. It might be a bit much, so I would have to figure out how I would do that. And then the last brooch is this one. And this one is yet another one I got for my birthday, my 43rd birthday this year. Or I keep saying this year and it's actually last year, okay? It was September of last year, my apologies. But this one is leather and gold. And let me tell you, this is fire. It is so beautiful. It is so slick. Like I have not worn it yet, but now that I'm touching it, you know, sometimes it takes us having to go back and look at something to be reminded. I'm like, oh, I need to wear this at one of my brunches or one of my, um, my meetings that I have. Oh. See, I'm doing too much. So I don't even know how that would look on a jean jacket. When I do figure it out, I would definitely have to um, do a video on it and show you how I actually pulled it off. Because this right now, I'm like, I'm over this. Oh, there it goes. It did not want to come off. It was like, no, thank you. Okay. Okay, no one's walking around. I'm not I'm not walking around like this. But I think on a jean jacket it would look fabulous. Huh. I wonder if I put on my Dolce Gabbana jacket. How that would look. What do you think? Do you think that if I put these on my Dolce Gabbana jacket, that would, how would that look? I don't know with the zipper there, cause there's a zipper here, how that would look. But I have a smaller jacket, but I don't know if it would look the same. So anyway, listen, listen. There's all kind of ideas up in this place. So we'll figure that out. But in the meantime, this is my brooch collection and such, such fabulous pieces. 
if I were to give advice to anyone regarding uh, just any um, one brooch, if I had to choose one out of all of these, I would not choose one. I would at least choose two. I would choose one understated and then one that's just a pure statement piece. And so if I had to choose, it would definitely be the Chanel brooch because um, it's just so classy and it's just so sophisticated. It's It doesn't say too much and it's not overwhelming, right? It's not gaudy. Um, whereas... Uh, other pieces can be and the next one I would pick would be hmm, I have to take it off the seat let me just take everything off and then I will be able to t share with you the small one because I think that would be a good balance to have a, a bigger one and then a more discreet one if a person is into brooches because I don't know too many people who are are you know into brooches like that I know there's tons of people into vintage brooches which um, is very can be very uh, popular but as far as basic because these will one day be vintage um, but as far as these are concerned I'm not sure let's see what would be the one because the rest of them aren't um, larger more medium if I had to choose to, okay, mm, this one, it would be the heart because it's just, it's, it's so versatile. So that's what I would choose. I would choose the heart and then the Chanel double C. Well, that's all for today. I know it's a quick one, but I hope you enjoyed.